Hi, I'm Jade and I work for KA Parts. In this video, I'm going to show you how to remove the dark grey residue that forms on your KitchenAid attachments. Here is a KitchenAid beater, whisk and dough hook, which have not been put through the dishwasher, but have been hand washed. As you can see, they still look new. And here is a KitchenAid beater, whisk and dough hook, which have been put through the dishwasher. As you can see, there is now a grey coating formed around the attachments. These are not dishwasher safe. If washed in the dishwasher or allowed to soak in the sink, the burnished aluminium finish may start to oxidise and form a grey residue around the attachments. The grey residue will then transfer into the ingredients you are mixing. I am now going to show you three different ways to remove the grey residue of your KitchenAid attachments. I am going to be showing you with the dough hook, but the same can be done with the whisk and the beater. I'll be showing you how to remove the grey residue with a bowl of hot soapy water and a metal scourer. And then I'll show you with a bowl of hot soapy water and a nylon scrubber and also a bowl of hot soapy water and a piece of aluminium tin foil. We are going to soak the dough hook in hot soapy water. Firstly, we are going to use a metal scourer. This will quickly remove the residue, but it will leave fine scratches on the surface. Now you can use a nylon scrubber. This can take a while, but it will work. Another tip is to use scrunched up tin foil, which is made from aluminium and will not scratch as badly as the metal scourer. The attachment will not be as shiny as it originally was but the thin layer of oxidisation will be removed and will not show up in the food. Please remember that whilst any of these methods will remove the grey residue from your attachments, the attachment will never look exactly as it did before the damage. I think the best method to remove the grey residue of your attachments is the nylon scrubber. I hope this video has helped you to remove the grey residue of your KitchenAid attachments. If you have any queries following this video, or you'd like to order any parts seen in this video, please visit our website www.kaparts.co.uk.